Ilya Tapuria, who is a fucking killer. He is fucking special. He's a real challenge. In the vast world of mixed martial arts, one name has become a beacon of skill, determination, and raw talent. Ilya Topuria. Those body shots have now officially oh, set up the headshot. It's all over. The walk-off KO for Ilya Topuria. Down like a tree. He's sharp with his tongue. Not, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna crush your face right here. Give it and you punch your Loyal to his fans. <laughs> and ruthless in the cage. Today, we will take a journey through the life, challenges, and triumphs that have defined this remarkable fighter. Leah Topuria's story begins in the picturesque city of Halle. Born to a Georgian family, his early years in Germany laid the foundation for a life destined to be intertwined with the world of combat sports. At the age of seven, the Topuria family decided to return to their roots in Georgia. Ilya, enrolled in a local school, began practicing Greco-Roman wrestling, setting the stage for the skills that would later make him a force in the MMA world. At the age of 15, Ilya Topuria's journey took an unexpected turn as his family relocated to the southeastern coast of Spain, to the vibrant city of Alicante. It was here that he would take his first steps into the world of mixed martial arts, in the famous club Climate, which was created by two brothers, Augustin and George Clement. In Alicante, Ilya Topuria began to practice various types of martial arts, honing his skills and developing a unique style, which later became his calling card in the world of MMA. Ilya Topuria made his professional debut in 2015, competing in local competitions and looking to make a name for himself in the world of mixed martial arts. Facing journeyman Francisco Asprilo, he showed off his explosive start. After getting hit, Topuria quickly rehabilitated himself and took a takedown. The Matador's relentless pace continued with a necklock attempt, but Asprilo showed resilience. However, after another minute, Topuria's dominance led to a triangle choke, which began a pattern in his early fights. The next two victories followed a similar pattern. In his fight with Khalil El Shalibi, Topuria won with a quick choke in just the first minute of the fight. Daniel Vazquez endured the long trade but ultimately suffered the same fate. These impressive performances earned Topuria a spot in the Spanish promotion Mixed Fights events. The pursuit of championship glory led Topuria to a title fight against John Guarin of Colombia. At the start of the fight, Motador followed the same scenario. There was an attempt at strangulation. This was followed by an attempt at an arm bar, but that didn't work either. The spirited Colombian defended himself well and took the fight to a standing position. The Georgian did not yield here either. Ilya added some more wrestling and took the win with a guillotine. In the early days of Ilya Topuria's MMA journey in Spain, the sport was still finding its foothold. Few were interested and serious fighters were scarce. To make a name in the MMA scene, Topuria ventured beyond Spain. His next fight took place in Finland against Mickey Hamalainen, an experienced fighter with a score of 8 to 1. Topuria decided to abandon the usual scenario and demonstrate his skills in the stand. <laughs> Finn decided to try his luck in wrestling. Motador defended and attacked his opponent. Ilya let his opponent stand in order to put him down again. He decided to stop the beating and strangle Finn. 
Having gone on a winning streak, Ilya received the opportunity to beat for the belt in the British organization Cage Warriors. But the Georgian failed the weigh-in and was stripped of his title fight status. Despite this, Matador entered the cage and destroyed his opponent in a minute and a half. Making the throw. Add a little back control. Spice it up with the anaconda and that's it. The Belgian's done. He's out. He's out. It's over. Wow. Really Following this triumph, Topuria made a strategic move to the featherweight division and signed with Brave FC. Topuria continued his global journey fighting in Bogota, Colombia. And again, Ilya spent less than two minutes on the battle. Standing combination. Passage to the legs. A couple of sharp elbows. Elbow lever. Victory is in your pocket. The next fight was against Steve Goncalves, who gave some difficulties to the Georgian. Ilya missed a hard leg kick in the opening seconds. Nice head kick Topuria performed a takedown and closed the submission hold. The fighters stood up, and then the Motador surprised everyone. After eight straight wins, Ilya caught the attention of MMA enthusiasts and soon found himself in the spotlight of major promotions. After a year of inactivity due to the pandemic, the Georgian had a chance to prove himself. On Fight Island on seven days' notice against Yusef Zalal, a rising star on a three-fight winning streak. Motador wanted to make a loud statement and invested in punches. Added a wrestling. And he spent a lot of effort trying to strangle him. And by the end of the fight, Topuria was exhausted and finished the fight with an almost empty gas tank. The first victory by a decision of the judges. He explained this by saying that there was not enough time to prepare. After such a victory, Ilya was ready to rehabilitate himself in the strongest league in the world as soon as possible. And with a full training camp, he was ready to make himself known. To the most motivated Georgian, they put Damon Jackson in contention with a record of 18 to 3. Having identified his target, the Matador set about destroying it. The American tried to answer and immediately got an apricot. Topuria began to press harder. Hitting the liver, the Georgian ended the fight with a combination. With this colorful victory, Topuria declared his serious intentions in the absolute promotion. Here's what Ilya had to say about his victory in this style. Like I said before, I, I, I like the Canelo style, the body shots, and I train a lot of boxing, and for this fight especially, I, I train a lot of boxing. His next opponent was Ryan Hall, a top-notch grappler and winner of the 22nd season of The Ultimate Fighter. The American, wanting to catch a matador on submission, was so quirky that Sonic the Hedgehog would envy him. At the end of the round, the Georgian caught Hall and did not let go. Three fights in the strongest promotion in the world and two knockouts in the first round. After such a performance, he was given Movsar Evloev as a rival, who withdrew from the fight due to a positive test for COVID. This made the Georgian very angry, and these are his words. Movsar is not undefeated anymore. He lost his undefeated record because he didn't come here. He told me that he would use me like the red rock. Here, I bring this red rock here where he is. No one knows so. 
A suitable opponent was chosen for the Matador, Jay Herbert became him. Even before he got into the cage, Illy had a conflict in the hotel with the rising star, Patty Pimblett. Herbert showed himself well at the beginning of the fight and kicked the Matador in the head. Ilya had to save himself on the ground, but failed to hold off the Briton. Now Motador himself has become prey. In the second round, Ilya recovered and did it. Thanks to this final combination, he takes home the bonus of the evening for the knockout. With this performance, Ilya showed that his strength must be reckoned with. The hype train began to gain momentum, and the UFC decided to organize a fight against Bryce Mitchell, a master of submissions and a lover of farm life. Ilya wanted to proceed with the same plan. The plan was simple, come in and take his head off. Mitchell a moment ago. The American tried to impose his game. In the second round, the Matador went on an aggressive offensive. Having withstood the attack, the American responded. Ilya made a combination. Feeling the smell of victory, the Matador did not let go of his victim. Ilya conducted a jiu-jitsu masterclass, thereby proving that he is worthy of fighting with the best. After defeating a fighter from the top 10, Tapuria got a tough puncher Josh Emmett as a rival, a man who has the touch of death. Must though at least statistically has been the more efficient oh. striker. Down and out goes Lamas! Oh, yeah. oh, Knowing about the dynamite in his hands, Ilya spent the first round in exploration. He's got to be very careful dipping his head though. Oh. Oh, yeah. In the second segment, the Georgian began to work more actively. Zimmer tries to go right, slight steps to the left. The American did not remain in debt. Body shot coming. Oh. At the end of the round, Topuria landed a heavy blow. Oh, heavy. Huge combination. In the third round, Josh decided to act. But Ilya had already read the opponent and continued to conduct the boxing masterclass. Topuria to raise that right guard yet again. Oh, he cut Josh. Oh, oh, oh nice shot by Josh. The Georgian delivered lightning strikes. I, I feel like the jab is the story. Oh. In the fourth round, the Matador knocked Josh down with a filigree hook. Oh, and a big right hand. When Ilya smells blood, he can't stop. Oh, oh that oh. uppercut was heavy. And Emmett's still oh, throwing goodness. back to the canvas now. The American was saved by the oh, gong. chasing a finish late round four. Wow. In the last round, the veteran had nothing to lose, and he hoped for his soporific blow. But the Georgian kept his cool and went the distance without risks to himself. I wouldn't mind seeing him. As a result, the fight went the whole distance where the Matador won by unanimous decision. Ilya is coming off a resounding victory over a top five ranked opponent in the featherweight division. He then loudly announced that he would become the new division champion. Considering the explosive wave of popularity of a young media fighter and the strength of an already established champion, the UFC could not refuse to organize such a high-profile and much-desired fight against the undefeated champion Alex Volkanovsky. This amazing confrontation led the tournament in Anaheim at the Honda Center. It was the first title chance for the Georgian, the first time his fight became the main event of a numbered tournament. He was cocky and confident at the press conference. Hey, you see how he became dressed? You already know what's going to happen. He just came ready for the retirement. Look how you look.
as a whole man. Get a good spanking, that's what's gonna yes. happen, yes. eh? Okay? He said he's gonna humble me. Stand up and do something. Humble me. I'm here, right? Right in front of you. Do something. Do something. I'm gonna uh, show we'll you see, levels. We'll see, we'll I'm, I'm gonna walk the floor with you. I'm gonna show you I'm the guy that's been on top of this division for so long. He doesn't stand a chance. I represent the evolution of this game. I, I represent the new generation of mixed martial arts. After this Saturday night, I'm gonna change the whole game of mixed martial arts. I'm gonna end with this war, and mine's gonna start. And you all will become an instant fan, so shut the f up right now. He took advantage of taking a photo with the belt, and that. Uh... For a daring act and a long tongue of a young fighter, many wanted to teach him a lesson, and Alex Volkanovsky was the first on the list. Here with the challenger, ladies and gentlemen. Ilya, this has been a fight that you have wanted for quite some time. Give us your thoughts on tomorrow night and how it goes down. I'm ready, I'm ready, Joe. They're gonna witness, they're gonna witness how I'm gonna make history tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night, everyone. Ilya Tapuria, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the champ. This young man has been very brash. He tried to grab your belt at the press conference. There's been a lot of disrespect. Give us your thoughts on what happens tomorrow night. Yeah, mate, all that's all over now. Now he's got to step in the octagon with me. I'm going to show him. He crumbled at the presser. He's going to crumble tomorrow as well. And still, let's go! And now the day of battle has come. At the start of the fight, the wolf kept his distance well and punched kicks. The matador was adjusting the scope. That's why I'm very oh. Ooh, very strong looking. The center. Oh! He's got to be careful as he backs out. Oh! oh big right hand from Topuria. But the champion was faster. Last opponent for Topuria, Josh Emmett, didn't throw. There's another one. Volkanovski landed a good left hand and said something to him. I got you there. Topuria. Another kick. In the second segment, the Georgian began to deliver his punches. Then he pinned Alex to the cage and fired a control shot. With one well-aimed hit, Ilya became the first Georgian UFC champion in history. Ilya Topuria represents the new generation of fighters. He moves well on his feet, is good on the ground, and knocks out opponents with one blow. Stay with us and follow the further achievements of Ilya Topuria, a name that will undoubtedly resonate in the world of mixed martial arts for many years to come. Sure.